The nation was a powder keg. The declaration of martial law had deepened political divisions, igniting widespread unrest and pushing society to the brink. Across the country, battle lines were drawn between loyalists to President Taraxia and the burgeoning resistance movements determined to reclaim their freedoms. In the capital, streets once bustling with tourists and government workers were now arenas of conflict. Protesters clashed with heavily armed law enforcement and military forces, their chance for justice and democracy echoing against the backdrop of barricades and armored vehicles. From Washington, D.C. to the smallest towns, the atmosphere was charged with anger and fear. President Taraxia's administration ramped up its efforts to quash dissent, deploying increasingly draconian measures. News outlets critical of the regime were shut down or censored, and prominent activists and political opponents found themselves targets of mass arrests. The nation watched in horror as scenes of peaceful demonstrators being forcefully detained filled the news. Yet, with every crackdown, the spirit of defiance grew stronger. Citizens took to the streets in ever larger numbers, organized strikes, and boycotted businesses supporting the government. The administration's heavy-handed tactics only fueled the fire of rebellion, turning ordinary citizens into fierce advocates for their rights. The military's presence became an inescapable reality of daily life. Checkpoints were erected at major intersections, and drones buzzed overhead, conducting constant surveillance. The sight of soldiers patrolling neighborhoods with automatic rifles became commonplace, instilling a sense of unease and fear. In major cities, military exercises showcased the regime's strength. But these displays of power also highlighted the deepening chasm between the government and its people. Soldiers, many of whom had sworn to protect their fellow citizens, now faced the daunting task of enforcing oppressive laws. Moral dilemmas plagued their ranks as they grappled with the ethics of their orders and their loyalty to the American ideals that they once vowed to defend. As federal mandates tightened, cracks within the Union widened. Several state governments openly defied President Taraxia's orders, declaring their autonomy and refusing to implement martial law measures. This defiance sparked a wave of regional solidarity, with states banding together to resist federal overreach. Paramilitary groups and militias began to surface, aligning themselves with various factions. These groups, armed and emboldened, further destabilized the nation. Meanwhile, the international community watched with growing concern. Some foreign governments voiced their support for the opposition, while others imposed sanctions on the Taraxia regime, isolating it diplomatically. The sporadic incidents of violence soon gave way to full-blown clashes between government forces and resistance fighters. Urban warfare erupted in several cities, with guerrilla tactics employed by the resistance making the conflict increasingly brutal. Streets turned into battlefields, and the sound of gunfire and explosions became the grim soundtrack of daily life. Civilian casualties mounted, each death a stark reminder of the human cost of the conflict. The violence fed into a vicious cycle of revenge and retaliation, deepening societal trauma and entrenching divisions. Communities once bound by common goals now found themselves torn apart by violence and mistrust. Amidst the chaos, voices of reason began to emerge. Religious leaders, civil society organizations, and international mediators called for dialogue and a peaceful resolution to the crisis. They urged all sides to lay down their arms and seek common ground, emphasizing the need to heal the fractured nation. Efforts to broker ceasefires and negotiate settlements gained momentum, though the path to reconciliation was fraught with challenges. As the nation teetered on the brink of civil war, the fate of democracy and the Union hung in the balance. The dramatic conclusion saw the country poised at a crossroads, with the potential for both devastation and renewal lying ahead. The storm was gathering, and the next chapter in America's history would be written by those who chose to fight, those who chose to heal, and those who dared to hope for a future beyond the conflict.